All right, this is my first impressions of uh, Unity, and I guess I have to say is, uh, you know, what the hell? <laughs> I mean, it's it's way different. Um, uh, uh, hold on. Well, like I said, I'm I'm this is my first time trying it, so uh, I guess uh, let's just dive into it, I guess, or something. Um, well, here's your home folder, so let's see. Let's click on this, and uh, launches your home folder. So, uh, alright. So if you minimize it, what does it do? It goes into the little dock. Oh, that's pretty cool. It did like a little animation. So I clicked on it again. There it goes. But what if you want to launch two? How do you do that? How do you launch two? Home folder? Huh. Well, how do you... Okay, well, I don't know how you launch two folders if you need to get two folders. Uh, let's try that again. Okay, well, I'll keep on going. Um, of course, you have Firefox. Let's launch this. And the dock. Okay, that's cool. The dock hides away. And I notice the buttons are on top in the menu bar. And you have the global menu as well. So if you double click the bar, it minimum okay. So it works like uh like your standard uh uh menu bar. If you click the uh if you double click it it'll unmaximize. And or if you click the button as well. Okay, that's cool. But then again I'm just wondering how do you launch a double application? Huh. Anyways, let's move on again. Here's the software center. And uh let's see what's new. Okay, it's it looks pretty much the same. You know, get software and you have your installed software as well. And the uh, history. And um let me let me install something. Let me install uh something I use a lot and that's G speaker. There it is. I use this quite a bit because, you know, it helps me. <laughs> okay, now that's installing. And I'm going to go ahead and minimize it and <clears throat> see what it does when it's done. So, right here, I'm assuming this is your workspace. Yeah, workspace switcher. So you can switch to different workspaces. Okay. So that's pretty easy to do. That that you know, instead of having to use your Control Alt or your uh, Windows Windows key and E, I believe is it Windows key E. Oh, it's a window. They changed it to S. So S is the new the new one. All right. So there it is. So that's installed. Okay. So how do I get my two my new applications? I don't see it. It didn't install in here into the dock, so so how the hell did I get in there? Um, click here. Oh, cool. All right, that's pretty nice. Okay, so shortcuts. Uh, check email. Listen to music. More apps. Find apps. Internet. Media. So I guess it'll be my more apps. Installed apps available for download. So how do you just look at your your full applications? Appearance desktop frequently used apps available. So I just got to search for it. Then. G E. Okay, that worked. Welcome in Jastica. All right. So what if if I were to maximize it? How do you bring the dock back? Huh? Do I have to unmaximize it, or what am I gonna do? Let's try with fire. Let me see. Sorry if I'm not being very talkative, because I'm just trying to view this as from a new user standpoint. So I'm just trying to discover, you know, what's new. So let me maximize it. So how do you bring it back? Oh, 
That's pretty nuts trick. <laughs> That's weird. Huh. <laughs> okay, that's different. All right, well, shit, what the hell? It's a little. How did? I, so if you click on that, this overlaps. But I just want to know how you media apps. If I click media, installed app. So you have to click on. So how do you remove this? Do I click back here again? Unminimize. Close. Okay, I'm gonna try to put that G speaker in here. So how do I do that? So um, click on the menu button. I guess media apps. I saw it right here. You can you drag it? Okay. Well, that's cool. That's I guess you can say that's intuitive because you know they do have drag and drop enabled, so that's great. You know. Um, well, that being said, I remember in the elementary review, I I couldn't move folders around. So let's see, let's see if I can do that here. Let me uh, right click, create folder, move it to your desktop, and yeah, you can. So it's still a full desktop, I suppose. Can I put this in here? No, I can't. I guess not. I don't know if it works that way. Probably not. How about put my documents? Will that work? No, that doesn't work either. Okay. All right. What's this? Applications. So is this? So this is the menu for the applications. What's this over here? So that's a full screen. All right. Oh, it's a little bit different. I don't know. All right, Ubuntu one. Okay, that's for their two gigs of storage. You know, I don't have. I have a Launchpad account, but I don't have. I don't use Ubuntu one. I haven't had the need for it yet. But um, I hear good things about it. So, so I don't know. Maybe I'll try it for this. You know, this upcoming distro. I'll, I'll uh, this release. I mean, I'll I'll you know, dive into it. See how it is. You know, but uh, as I can't really. I don't really have an opinion about this yet because I just, I haven't used it yet. So. Anyways, um, files and folders. So this is your home folder. Well, ap apparently it is, but this is also your. Okay, so this launches Nautilus, and this just uh, just uh, views your home folder. Huh. Okay, now what? Now what? What else can I do? Listen to music, so I click on that. This launches movie player. Wait, did I just click? What did I click? Listen to music. And it launched movie player. What? Oh, you think it will launch Banshee? So I click on Banshee. And what does it do? Can I minimize? What was it minimizes to here? Okay, so so you can't. So how do you move the icons around? Let me uh, figure this out for a second. Uh, like that? Is that it? <clears throat> okay, so you can't. To move an icon around, you have to actually pull it out and move it like that. But I don't know how you would. Uh, I guess you can't have desktop icons. Well, I guess you can't. Right click, keep and launcher. Okay, so you have to right click and, and unpin it to get rid of it. So okay, that's that's that kind of makes sense. And uh oh, looks like a bug. There it goes. All right. Well, huh? 
<laughs> well, it's different. I'll say that much. And so far, it, it seems to be somewhat intuitive. Like, you know, I'm, I am figuring stuff out. But um, I don't I don't really know what to say about it just yet. So I'm probably going to make a part two to this video after I get you know used to it and actually go through the features. But right now, it's just kind of like I'm just discovering it, trying to just just get the hang of it and and so far it's it's kind of a 50 50 thing for me because it's kind of it's it's really odd you know the way you have to go into here and uh like trying to find an application just it feels kind of kind of kind of funky <laughs> so i don't know we'll see i'll make a part two so uh stay tuned for that one